uh, we could use the word happen or like uh, make or occur could be a verb but not for the word event itself then we have adjective eventful and the adverb eventually and definitely we have another uh, word here which is fortunate fortunate which means good luck or good uh, like good luck in your side the verb which means to fortunate but we will not use it for granted but the adjective itself which be fortunate fortunate which means to give good fortune sorry then we have fortunately as an adverb and definitely in fortunately uh, sorry unfortunately as the opposite of fortunate fortunately which means good luck and unfortunately which means bad luck or for his bad luck now we're going to start with finding the mistake this is the last task we're going to do today uh, before we move on to the phrasal verbs so basically the first one that is a luxury car you are driving the correct one uh, sorry the incorrect word here which is luxury and the correct answer should be look curious car okay you cannot it itself cannot be luxury it could be luxurious okay and we have number two fortunate he hasn't broken anything while playing with this ball we have here only one mistake which is fortunate and it should be fortunately not fortunate alone so it should be fortunately and as well the comma number three using picture in explaining thing help the teacher to illustration his point here we have two mistakes we have in explaining things not one thing this is a plural word because you cannot explain one thing only and we have another word which is definitely illustrations and here we use it after two as an illustrate as a verb not illustrations as a noun illustrate and we move on to number four he was saved by miraculously we have one mistake here and it should be a miracle he was saved by a miracle so miracle is the replacement for miraculously okay and don't forget the full stop okay he followed the plan and eventual he won the prize so the word here the incorrect word here is eventual it should be eventually okay and perfect the final thing we're going to do today, which is the phrasal verbs, let's start with the phrasal verb. What's the meaning of a phrasal verb? A phrasal verb is a combination between a verb and a preposition, or a verb and an adverb. The verb itself has a meaning, the preposition itself has another meaning, but together they have or they give a different meaning. Like set itself, which means to set something or to prepare it, and off, which means to turn it off or not here, but set off itself as start a journey. Then we have set up, which make a machine or a piece of equipment ready for use. Uh, take over to begin to have control or responsibility for something dig up which means excavate or remove something from the ground that was buried put off which means to discourage and finally die out which means become extinct or disappear we have the word blow up as explode this is an extra one which is the sorry which is the the last one here in number or could be for number seven let's start answering this exercise and consider this is your final thing to do today and starting from number one dinosaurs and we should put it in the correct form by the way guys we shouldn't just like the correct answer is die out so we should leave it as die out no no we should put it in the correct form this is thousands of years ago so it should be died out in the past form then they something in the morning and arrived at midday so they set off in the morning no you mister they sat off in the morning why sat off because sat is the past form of set and not the present form they were in the morning and they arrived arrived here as an ed this is a past okay so miners sometimes something dynamites to make holes in the mountains so basically they the final word here blow up dynamite so why did i say blow up not blown up or blow up or blew up something miners sometimes this is the present form of the verb itself many interesting things were something during the excavation and many uh, sorry many interesting things were what what do you think were dug up uh-huh why did we use duck it was during the excavation this was a past time then we have the small company has bought and something by a larger one and have 
it, it was bought and taken over by a larger one. So why did I use taken over simply the small company here? This is not the subject, this is the object itself. So we're here putting it in the passive voice, not the active voice. So the small company didn't buy itself, but it was bought. So the same idea goes for here. It didn't take over a large one. It was taken over by a large one. This is the passive form of the sentence. Uh, then we have, have you something, your new laptop yet? So have you set up your laptop yet and set up this is set as the pp of the verb said because we have you this is and yet this is the present perfect tense he was something becoming a soldier because it was too dangerous or so dangerous and he was put off becoming a soldier because it was so dangerous put off here is the pp or put here is the pp of put as you know we have put 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 so we have two uh, grammar for today uh, sorry two homework for today 